Today we are going to discuss the Lions Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer professional genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. The first coat of arms to discuss is blazoned Argent, a Lion Rampant Ghouls. This coat of arms was borne by Sir John Lyons, who died in 1349 at the Second Dunstable Tournament in 1331, as recorded on an epigy in Warkworth, Northamptonshire, England. Now, the Dunstable Tournament was a tournament of knights from across Europe. Another poor poor, a lion rampant argent. Another for the Lions of Appleton Hall from County Cheshire. Thomas Lyon, born 1786, Justice of the Peace and Deputy Lieutenant, purchased Appleton Hall in 1820. He descended from Thomas Lyon, born in 1626, who was of ancient Scottish descent and served in the Scots Greys and settled at Warrington in County Lancashire. Another for the Reverend Ralph Lyon, born 1795, rector of Bishop's Caudle, County Dorset, son of William Lyon, a weaver and linen manufacturer. Here we see Reverend Ralph Lyon. Another granted to Lieutenant General Sir James Lyon, born 1775, army officer and governor of Barbados, the son of Captain James Lyon of the 35th Regiment of Foot. His coat of arms is similar to that of his ancestor, Patrick Lyon, who died in 1459 and was created the first, created the first Lord Glamis in the year 1445. Another from Old Park in Antrim, Northern Ireland, granted to William Lyons, Esquire, born 1781, of Old Park near Belfast, the grandson of David Lyons, born 1701 of Belfast, and also granted to their descendants. The family descended from David Lyons of Belfast, son of Thomas Lyons, born 1624. Another for the Lyons of Lattistown in West Meath, Ireland, Major John Charles Lyons, born 1792, Justice of the Peace of Laddiston near Mullingar in County Westmeath, Ireland, built his own printing press and grew orchards, or, grew orchards in a glass house that he heated and watered by filling it from a stream with his own invention. He was the only child of Captain Charles John Lyons, born 1766. Another coat of arms for the Lyons family of Antigua, Captain John Lyons, born 1760. He was a British owner of sugar plantations on the island where he served as a politician and captain in the Royal Navy. He was the eldest of 11 children of John Lyons. And his great grandfather, Major Henry Lyons, had immigrated from River Lyons, Kings County, Ireland. Another, this for his son, Admiral Edmund Lyons, who became the first Baron Lyons. He was born in 1790, an eminent British Admiral in the Royal Navy and diplomat who played a role in the Crimean War and was commander of the Mediterranean Fleet. Another granted to Sir William Lyons, born 1794, Mayor of Cork, Ireland, who was knighted in 1849 on the occasion of Her Majesty's visit to that city. Another for County Hereford, London, and West Twyford in Middlesex. Sir John Lyon, who died in 1564, was a London grocer and future mayor of London who purchased West Twyford in 1540, and he had sons Henry and John and nephew Richard Lyon, who died in 1580. 
Another found as impaled on a monument in Long Ashton County, Somerset, to Sir Richard Choke, who died in 1483, whose wife was Enid Witheridge Lyons, born in South Moulton County, Somerset, in 1422. It is similar to the arms of Thomas D. Lyons that was recorded in a document dated around the year 1380. Per pale or and azure, a chevron ermine, coat of arms of Thomas Lyons, Esquire, who had a daughter who married into the Rainsford family of Great Lou in Oxfordshire, England. Exemplified to Charles Connell, Esquire of Cork, Ireland, on assuming the surname of Lyons in 1814 in remembrance of his maternal uncle, James Lyons, Esquire of Cork. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com. Thank you very much.